What is Radharani's desire? Radharani's desire is to sambhog means some means complete and bhog means pleasure and enjoyment, Ple complete pleasure and enjoyment, satisfaction. So Radharani is sambhog mai. Her her only desire is to give complete satisfaction and pleasure to Krishna, and unlimited ways. So unlimited ways means Radharani has unlimited desires to give happiness to Krishna. Because Krishna has a transcendental body with transcendental senses. The body has senses. But Krishna's transcendental body, he has sense, sparsha, touch, and he has sight, he can see, touch, hear, all these things, and then feel. So Radharani is, she is fully capable and qualified. That's why it's called Samartha Rati. Samartha. Gopi's Rati is Samartha. The word Samartha means fully capable fully qualified. Radharani is fully equipped and fully qualified and fully capable of giving Krishna pleasure in every every possible aspect of his existence. Mental pleasure and physical. Well, now he does no physical, but you can say his, his transcendental senses and mind and heart and everything. Radharani is the, the, the emporium and embodiment of the pleasure principle of the complete enjoyment. So she, she, or every every movement, or every word, or every expression, or every every action, is to give pleasure and bliss to Krishna. That's her desire. Her desire is 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 her desire is one, and her desire is many. <laughs> so she has unlimited desire. She has one desire and unlimited desires. She has one desire. The only one desire is to make Krishna blissful. That's one. That's her only desire is to make Krishna blissful. That, but to fulfill that desire, she expresses the fulfillment of that desire by expressing millions of limited other desires, which are desire, which takes the shape of sevas, all different kinds of sevas that Radharani does. And so the mandris are one with all those sevas and one with all those desires to give that sambhog to Krishna. And because tat tat bhavit chatmika, the gopi, the mandri sakis, I mean the mandris, and pran sakis, nati sakis, they are, their desire is to experience the heart of Radharani, tad tad bhavich atmika. They want to experience that heart. But in order to experience the heart of Radharani, they have to fill the heart of Radharani with Krishna. And they have to bring Radharani to Krishna. Then, then Radharani's heart will overflow. It will overflow with all of her madan ras. Because the madan ras is like there's no waves. But when she's with Krishna, so many waves. So then the mandris, they they they're always thinking of incur increasing this this uh, this giving full, ex full the mandris' role is to give Radharani the fullest ex assist Radharani in giving the fullest expression of her sambhog capacity and ability to Krishna to give for Krishna.